Good day, YouTubers, fellow reloaders, fellow Pew Pew enthusiasts. This will be a quickie. Uh, sometimes you just got to call bullshit on a product. Um, I have uh, a problem. I have these 377 batteries, which are in a four battery sleeve like this. You know, they're together. In this Beretta, uh, excuse me, in this Laser Max guide rod, there's the laser. And there's three of the batteries. And I've got some uh, oil soaking in there. Because I've tried just about everything. Uh, you know, magnets. Uh, there's obviously some corrosion because these puppies aren't moving. So, uh, you know, drilling a battery is not a good idea, even if these are dead batteries, so I'm not going to do that. Um, this is like a $400 laser today. <laughs> I don't think I paid that back in the 90s, but uh, whatever. Um, so I'd like to get those batteries out, and the fact that that oil hasn't seeped in tells me I've got some problems ahead. So I went ahead and cut a little piece of steel. Uh, it was actually this side, both of them actually. And then I used some JB Weld and I adhered them and then I taped them and they were vertical for more than the 16 hours of uh, uh, cure time. And when I went to pull this, this nothingness. So, uh, on to uh, another plan. Since I've been away for a while. Let's see. Oh, I don't have my little magnets in front of me. Let's see. Yeah, other than the oil coming out, that's about all that's happening. So, um, if anybody has any ideas, I think my next idea is hot glue. Uh, hot glue and more magnets, or hot glue and this, or hot glue and wood. Something with hot glue. Uh, and shame on me for not checking my own bad asphalt. Well, more like my own dumb asphalt. No badassity there. And I've had these for a long, long time too. Because when I look online from Laser Max and eBay and everywhere else, it's like $30 for that little pack of four. So, that will be one of today's projects. Alright, part two. So we tried the hot glue path. That was a complete waste of time. And then you'll probably say, well, why do you have this plexiglass slash acrylic quarter inch thick shield in front of you? And that's because we now have four batteries, two of which have, I was gonna drill them out, but then I realized I need a starter punch. So I used my center bits, center drill bit, or I used one of my center drill bit because again didn't matter what material i was using wood steel the glue uh because of the potential corrosion that's in there uh that ate away at the side that created a, a, a mega mega glue i decided all right we're gonna drill so i did my uh center drill bit i had my shield i had gloves on i had safety glasses I, I was ready for what i saw in a youtube video not too long ago but i think that's somebody who uh, did an 1860 uh, lithium ion rechargeable uh, which has considerably more size than uh, these little what are essentially watch batteries so uh, these two came out the, the bottom two with air pressure uh, this first one I had to use the center drill bit as well as the what I do with my little screw and then I screwed this in and then I pulled this fucker out with screwdrivers so these helped they cleaned up especially this one cleaned up around the edges to get rid of the shit but uh I mean, there's, there's, those cells are dead. Those, uh, 
and then I took some uh, wet sandpaper uh, and then uh, with some rubbing alcohol and clean that out. So I have no idea if this will work, you know, but that's why we do this channel because you never know what will or won't work. And these are old batteries, so these, these may not work either. And you're supposed to leave the sleeve in according to the instructions. Yeah, that, that doesn't want to go in, so well, they go in, but they ain't a coming out, that's for sure. All right, where did I put the top for this? Let me go find the top. I put it somewhere to not lose it. Now let me go find where I put it. All right, so just for giggles, before we slam that in any further, I wonder if Magnus will pull it out. No. So whenever these expire again, maybe I should have put it in the bore, uh, in the... Uh, lathe and bore out the uh, center a little oh well it was broken yesterday so it may continue to stay broken all right so it is installed i don't know if those batteries are any good yeah i'm not seeing i'm not seeing laser Again, those batteries might be deadish. In which case, I might have to drill those out too. Let me put the uh, firearm back together and see if that works. Back shortly. So this is a piece of history from uh, 1984. This is a Beretta 92SB. 92SB, made in Italy, and it was right before. This is when I was in the military. This is right before the military adopted uh, the Beretta. And I made some changes in the 90s. I added uh, Trijican night sights, which have been updated uh, since the original install due to uh, having to drill out that front uh, and rear for the, uh, the uh, tubes. And Laser Max came out with a guide rod metal bore ish laser and you take a couple pieces you know you substitute some pieces that are no modifications to the gun uh, and, and by that I mean no gunsmithing in terms of permanent modifications and everything that's done to it uh, it's it's a modified takedown lever, and there's your on and off switch. So let me kill the lights. YouTube popo, we are. Oops. Once again, I don't know if you can see that. We are working. So the batteries are fading, which means they're old. Yep, they're hella old, but they did work. So in hindsight, what I probably should have done, because me thinks I'll be doing the same thing all over again, is uh, got a new set of batteries and put the new set of batteries in instead of running, trying to run with that old set. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, if we have to... Do our little drilling exercise again. We now know what to do. And uh, like I said, the the explosion that I saw previously with uh, somebody putting a screw into an 1860, I'm going to guess that was a, a very charged 1860, fully charged. And it was done for YouTube effects as opposed to uh, how much explosion would this little watch battery have? Maybe a little fizzle. Maybe a little fizzle. But uh, we were back in uh, we're back in running order again. Yeah, those are dying batteries. Okie dokie. So that is it for today's gunsmithing.